Welcome back to Jeremiah's channel, but today it's my channel because why not? It's Ladies Day. Today I'm joined by my husband, Mr. Jeremiah Craig, and we're going to be reviewing the Lane Zip It boots. These are sweet. They are sweet. So let's get into it. Let's go. Old boots got soul, and I carry on this way and we get better. I've been following Lane Boots for a while. They're mm -hmm. one of those brands that I saw the Instagram ads. I liked what I saw. They were pretty. I'm not gonna lie. No, she's not lying. <laughs> I, ha I swear I heard about Lane Boots every single week after. It's been eight months of seeing their ads and being it's like, wow. It's been a wow, long quarantine. Those are me. beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> now you know how I feel. Oh my God, these boots are so beautiful, I don't know. <laughs> Elephant, I don't know. Oh, I got out bed, I don't know. <laughs> I found the boots that I have been wanting for a really long time on the Lane site. This is the last pair, I think, in my size in the color that I wanted. So these are the Zip It boots in the gloss ebony, and I'm size six and a half. When I first saw these boots, I don't know, months ago, they didn't have a six and a half in either color, the red or the black. I was like, come on! Then they did. And I happened to go on the site because you were talking about boots something or other, and I was like, I wanna see if the one pair of boots that I want in my life is finally back in stock. And you know what? They were. And they were on sale. And they were on sale. Oh! <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Damn, girl. These are sweet. These are sweet. Oh, the smell of good leather. <laughs> they look really good. So I'm badass. so excited that they have these in my size. All right, so, the rundown. These are the Lane Zip It Boots in gloss ebony, full grain leather. These are size six and a half. These cost me $249, but it was on sale because the original price for these on the website, it says they were selling for $499, which honestly is a lot of money, and mm -hmm. I don't think I would have bought them for that price. Half price is a good deal. Half price, yeah, seems like a good deal. Especially for everything that's here and how they're made. Now that I have them in my hands, I think 250 is a good deal. Yeah, me too. <laughs> we got tons of zipper accents. You got zips all over this thing. Not all of them do things, but they're still zippers, mm -hmm. whether they're functional or not, mm -hmm. you know, fashion. And we do have the toe on here, which they are calling a wide snip toe. To me, they just seem like a regular snip toe, but I didn't name it. We also do have a inch and three quarters heel on this, which is a nice size. It's not too much, it's not too little. Yeah, it's like a block heel, probably bonded leather. Bonded leather is like the leather that they make from the scraps and the leather dust when they're cutting leather, which works well as a heel material for sure. I also okay. like the fact that they put their logo down here mm -hmm. on the heel as well. It's a nice little touch. So everybody will know what kind of boots you're rocking. Mm -hmm. And I do like their logo. It's like feminine, but but it stands out. Yeah. You know, it's it's kind of neutral, but feminine. Feminine, like longhorn kind of look. To me, it kind of looks like ovaries. Oh my, But I didn't see that. I saw, a long, no. I saw, I saw longhorns. <laughs> Longhorns, ovaries, you pick. <laughs> it's ladies day, okay? These are pretty tall, 13 and three quarters inch. Mm -hmm. They're not, I don't think they're gonna be too tall. I think they're gonna be just right, hit right below the knee. I appreciate that. And can't you make them shorter? Does this actually work? This zipper here. Oh my God, you can. <laughs> okay, so You just this take it off. Does come off, which, I mean, it's not as good looking it's not as good looking like that, but you could. And we always kind of talk about how I want boots that look good for women, like women style boots, but aren't like rhinestones and pink and crosses. I don't want that. But this is like a feminine, badass, cool boot. Mm -hmm. I like this. Mm -hmm. I like the way it looks. All right, we gotta talk some more about like what is going on down here because they look good but I also think that they're gonna last. Yeah, they look very well made. So we got a a rubber sole protector here. Yeah. Which, and it's pretty thick too. 
It's, it's not going anywhere. But underneath that, you have leather. Yeah, leather sole. And yeah. you do have pegs in here. Pegs and nails. Which is just like nuts because this thing looks like it's going to last you for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not to mention, anyone could wear these. And the reason I say that is because I have big calves. We talked about that before. Um, but this lacing is real. And that means that I could let this out if I want to wear it like over a thicker pair of jeans or if I really want to like cinch it up and get it cute for a dress or a pair of leggings, I can do that. And I really like that flexibility and that thoughtfulness behind who's going to wear this boot, what is it going to look like. It's got to work for everyone. And I feel like with cowboy boots specifically for me, I always have a really hard time because my calf is a little bit bigger because I am a little bit shorter. And this, I saw it and I was like, that's a boot I can actually wear. Mm -hmm. I feel confident buying that online because I know that I can adjust it and it's gonna fit me and that's really exciting. Mm -hmm. I don't get to do that very often. Like I wanna have as many boots as you do, but I just know that they're not always gonna fit. So this, <laughs> seeing this, gets me really excited. We're on the right track <laughs> we now. We are on the right track. What about for a lining? What do you got on the inside, Brenna? Yeah, I think it's a nice leather lining in there. It it's so good. soft. It feels great. This is leather all the way through. Mm -hmm. Even the insole some is... Some insole. There's some gel action going on there. Yeah, but it's not removable and is topped with leather. Mm -hmm. It feels like. At least halfway through. I kind of feel it stop right before the ball of the foot. Yeah, right in the... And then you have some more foam after that. But, but it, it is feels non really good. Mm -hmm. It feels good. feels soft. Um... And you got all of these fun, functional, kind of like snaps and zippers and look at this tiny pocket. <laughs> <laughs> you got you, you can got put stuff in here. Two pockets on each boot. Great for smuggling drugs, I feel like. Uh, <laughs> or chapstick, or mascara, or snacks into the movie theater that you're not supposed to have. Screw that, we're putting weed in these things. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Also, you should not wear these boots to the airport because there's a lot of metal on here. <laughs> and this isn't plastic, this is real metal. I also like the back. Let's show them the back detail. Live fast, ride free. And I just like that there's enough craftsmanship going on that they can get the plaques to be different. I don't know, if you're thinking about people who are getting paid to make these things, a lot of companies aren't gonna make something that's mismatched because it's really easy to mess up and that's gonna cost them time, it's gonna cost them money, they gotta order two separate plaques, but it's just cool and it feels special. But let's get on the feet and see how it actually compares. Let's do it. I have the Lane Zibit boots on in glossed ebony, black color. They fit really true to size in the foot. I think the width is really nice. They're a little bit tight on the instep, but I think that'll stretch. I'm not really worried about that. These are a little bit more traditionally made, a little bit less of an insole, but they do feel snug. They feel like they're not going anywhere, which I like. Uh, the, the wide snip toe that they're calling it, it doesn't really restrict you at all. You got plenty of room to move around in there um, without being like too big or anything. It feels like it should fit in there. Um, I do get the little bit of slip in the back of the heel, which um, maybe a little bit more than I would expect, but you're really held down by the ball of your foot right across that toe bridge kind of area. So we'll see what happens when they break in a little bit more. I'll be interested to see how the fit kind of develops over time. But when I first put them on my feet, they feel secure. They feel like they're not going anywhere. They feel like you can definitely walk around in them. Obviously my cat fits in them because you can really let that lacing out and let it uh, really form to your leg, which I appreciate. And you can lace it up really tight if you want to get that more like cinched look or keep it a little bit looser if you want to just slip it on and go for the everyday. The pull tabs are just nice to have, um, especially as they're brand new, so they're a little bit tight. The heel height is, is nice. It's definitely more of like a, oh, we've got some, some boots on today. I really do feel like the quality is there when I put them on. You can feel they're going to break in, they're going to feel nice. Everything feels thick and supportive and I really like that 
for like a random internet company that I found <laughs> through their Instagram ads. I like that it is such like a, a good quality, a good feel of a boot because you really never know what you're gonna get in <clears throat> Alpha boots. Uh, so I really do like these boots. I think they're probably worth the price. I like the way they look, I like the way they feel, and I think these are a really spectacular purchase. That was a really cool, quick impression, Brenna. Just everything from like, <laughs> The tiny details to the nice leather lining to the way that they're made to the uniqueness of them. I don't know anyone else who's making boots that look like this. Um, just everything about them feels special and cool and and well made and like quality craftsmanship. Um, they're definitely handmade. You can see like where the stitching is a little bit off but that's what happens when you get like a handmade boot. Yeah, there's just a few slight imperfections. Doesn't really stick out as being a horrible imperfection. No, uh, I think that's what happens when you get like a craftsman quality thing. These mm -hmm. are made in Leon, Mexico, mm -hmm. where they make hundreds of brands of boots. Like everyone gets their boots made there. Yeehaw Cowboy makes their boots there. Mm -hmm. uh, Lots Bacesto, of fry boots come out of there. Fry, like everybody makes their boots there. Um, so I'm not surprised that these are like in that echelon, in that range, because they have great people working there um, who really know what they're doing, mm -hmm. so. For real. Very and it's, it shows with this boot. The designer did a great job with this as well. Yeah. Because this is something that could go wrong really fast. Yeah. <laughs> like when you say there's zippers on your boots and they don't do anything, it sounds like sort of corny and weird, but they really pulled this off really well in my opinion. Yeah. If you were to say to someone, imagine a moto cowboy boot crossover. Kind of steampunky <laughs> too. <A> little... <laughs> You're like, huh. What is that gonna look like? Even in some of the pictures online, if you go and you look up like this boot online, in the pictures it can look a little like overwrought, but in person they are perfection. Badass. They're badass. They really are. And when you have them on, you really feel like a badass. And this is, <laughs> this is just honest. Like this is not sponsored. I bought these with my own money. Mm -hmm. I like looked at the sizing chart and picked out my size and everything. This is completely genuine. These boots are worth the $250 price tag. These are incredible. The way these things are made is absolutely awesome. You can have these boots for the rest of your freaking life. You can look this cool for the rest of your life. I mean, I love that. Yeah. It's cool. Well, I think it's about time for us to zip it now. Let us know what you think of Lane Boots down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks for making my job easy today, Brenna. Well, it is ladies day. Ladies day. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Have a good one. Just zip it, these lane boots fit it, and the build is quite impressive. Just zip it, never quit it, and you'll be someone not to mess with, yeah. Thank you for watching today. My name is Jeremiah Craig. Huge thanks to Brenna for helping me out with this video. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here and check out some awesome videos that I have on my channel. Have a great day, everybody.